Welcome to our awning installation video presented by Architectural Fabrication. Let's begin by showing you a breakdown of the awning components. Standing seam panels. Rafters. Z-clips. Drip edge. Flashing. When the awnings are delivered, verify that the quantities, sizes, and color match the schedule on the approved submittals. In this example, unit number three should be 225 inches long. Next, locate the hardware, fasteners, sealant, flashing, touch-up paint, and the submittal drawings. As you unfasten and unload the units, check them for any damage that might have occurred during the shipping process. Note that you may want to save some of the protective packing foam and use it to wrap the ends of your ladders and lift. We recommend field verifying each awning location before marking up the wall. Start by marking the center point of the awning and the above finished floor measurement. The AFF dimension can be found on the section page in the approved submittals. Now you can measure the distance between each rafter on the awning and mark the wall accordingly. Now we need to make our marks on the wall for the top connections. Take a measurement from your bottom mark up to the center blocking for the top connection. Again, this dimension can be found on the section page. Use your level and continue this process across the wall. Once you've made your marks, you are ready to attach the Z-clips. This project required the product to be surface mounted to EFIS and attached to wood blocking inside the wall. This requires the use of crush tubes to protect the EFIS from any damage when securing the fasteners. For this method, we are using 3 8 lag screws with washers, crush tubes, 3 8 drill bit, and a 7 8 drill bit. Start by drilling the pilot holes. A good way to get the measurement needed for the crush tube is to drill the pilot hole until you hit the blocking. Now you can mark the drill bit depth with a pencil or marker as shown here. Or measure the dust on the drill bit. This will give you the length that the crush tubes need to be. Cut the crush tubes accordingly. Use the 7 8 drill bit to enlarge the pilot hole to make room for the crush tube. We recommend using sealant on every wall penetration. Once the crush tubes are cut, simply insert them in place and you are ready to fasten the Z-clip. This attachment method applies to other wall types like brick as well. Once all the Z-clips on the top are attached, you are ready to hang the awning. Move the jack into position and place the awning on top of it. Begin raising the awning to the proper elevation. Hang the unit on the Z-clips and adjust it to center. It should look like this. Check the level and insert the fasteners from underneath the unit.
Once all the top fasteners are in, move down and attach the Z-clips to the bottom of the frame. You will need to use the same process as the upper connection by drilling pilot holes, inserting crush tubes, adding sealant, etc. The next step is to touch up the fasteners and any nicks or scratches with the touch up paint. The next step is to install the flashing. The flashing is typically shipped in 10 foot pieces. This will require some pieces to be trimmed in the field. Also, most designs will call for the flashing to have closed ends, and this also will need to be cut and bent in the field. To install the flashing, simply snap it into place and insert the fasteners. <coughs> the, the final step is to apply sealant and touch up the flashing screws. Wipe down the awning and you're done. This installation video applies to fabric awnings as well. The mounting process is the same except fabric awnings don't have flashing. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this, please visit our website at www.arch-fab.com.